Hello everyone, welcome to the Stock Trading Tutor channel. If you'd like to create a free DMAT account with Alice Blue, click the link in the description and fill out your details. You'll also get intraday recommendation calls and you can learn robo trading software for free. Now, let's wrap up the stock market news for the day. The benchmark indices ended near day's high level on Friday with Nifty ending above the 11,650 level. At the end, Sensex was up 177 points at 38,862, while Nifty was up 68 points at 11,666. About 1,500 shares have advanced, 1,049 shares declined, and 165 shares are unchanged. Tata Steel, Ultratech Cement, Iker Motors, Bajaj Finance, and Vedanta were among the major gainers on the Nifty, while the losers were Power Grid Corp., Britannia Industries, SBI, Z Entertainment, and Hero Moto Corp. On the sectoral front, FMCG and PSU Bank witnessed some selling pressure, while IT, Metal, Infra, Energy, and Auto ended higher. And in commodity market news, as of 4.10 p.m. Indian Standard Time, the international Brent crude oil futures were trading at $69.12 per barrel. The U.S. WTI crude oil futures were trading at $61.99 per barrel. The gold prices were at 31,600 rupees per 10 gram, which is 0.34% higher than the previous close. And the silver prices were trading at 37,741 rupees per kilogram, which is 0.73% higher than the previous close. And in currency market news, the Indian rupee was trading at 69.28 rupees to the dollar, which is 0.45% higher than the previous close. And in other stock market news, the FMCG company Jyoti Laboratory shares gained 5.5% in morning trade on April 5th after global brokerage firm Macquarie has initiated coverage on the stock with an outperforming rating. The brokerage set target for stock at 250 rupees per share, implying a 36% potential upside from current levels. Arthonic Metallics gained 5% after lenders of the company issued shares and debentures worth Rs 40 crore to the UK-based company Liberty House. An IPO update for Metropolis Healthcare, it got oversubscribed nearly two times till 2.30pm today. Muthoot Finance declared an interim dividend for the financial year 2019 at the rate of Rs 12 per equity share. And a debt update for Jota Airways. The Indian Oil Corporation, also known as IOC, on April 5th stopped fuel supply to the struggling air carrier Jet Airways for non-payment of fees. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos on stock market and trading, please subscribe to this channel. If you'd like to create a free DMAT account with Alice Blue, click the link in the description and fill out your details. You'll also get intraday recommendation calls and you can learn robot trading software for free.